On October 28, 2024, India marked a significant milestone in its aerospace industry with the inauguration of the country's first private military aircraft production facility in Vadodara, Gujarat, in partnership with Airbus. This facility will produce the C-295 military transport aircraft, originally manufactured in Spain, to fulfill the Indian Air Force's requirements and bolster regional export initiatives. The opening ceremony was graced by prominent figures, including Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Spanish President Pedro Sánchez Pérez Castellón, Tata Sons Chairman N. Chandrasekharan, and Airbus Defence and Space CEO Michael Schulhorn. This initiative aligns with India's Atmanirbh Harbharat, Self-Reliant India program, which aims to enhance industrial autonomy and bolster local manufacturing capabilities. The C-295 is a versatile tactical transport aircraft designed to operate on short, unprepared runways and under challenging weather conditions. It is powered by two Pratt & Whitney PW-127G turboprop engines, enabling a maximum speed of 480 km per hour and the ability to carry various payloads, including anti-ship missiles, mines, and depth charges. Equipped with a comprehensive self-protection system, featuring radar warning receivers and countermeasures, the C-295 is well-suited for operations in hostile environments. Its robust design and simplified architecture ensure high reliability and lower operating costs, making it ideal for demanding military missions. This inauguration follows a $2.5 billion agreement signed in 2021 for the acquisition of 56 C-295 aircraft to replace the aging AVRO fleet of the Indian Air Force. While 16 of these aircraft will be delivered in a ready-to-fly condition from Airbus's assembly facility in Seville, Spain, the remaining 40 will be manufactured and assembled in collaboration with Tata Advanced Systems Limited (TSL) at the Vadodara site. To date, six aircraft have already been delivered to India. The Vadodara facility represents a landmark achievement for India's defense sector as it is the first private sector-established final assembly line (FAL) for aircraft in the country. Beyond aircraft assembly, the plant will produce detailed parts, sub-assemblies, and specialized tooling. It is expected to manufacture over 85% of the structure and final assembly of the 40 aircraft, producing approximately 13,000 individual components with 21 certified special processes. The supply chain includes 37 Indian suppliers from both private and public sectors. Component production has already commenced at the main assembly facility in Hyderabad, with initial parts shipped to Vadodara for assembly. Prime Minister Modi lauded the project as a testament to India's commitment to becoming a global manufacturing player, particularly in defense and aerospace sectors. The initiative is also seen as a tribute to former Tata Sons chairman Ratan Tata, who was instrumental in conceptualizing the project over a decade ago. Michael Schulhorn, CEO of Airbus Defense and Space, emphasized that the Seed 295 Made in India program showcases Airbus's commitment to supporting India's vision of self-reliance in defense manufacturing. The new facility is poised to enhance the aerospace industrial ecosystem in India by fostering design, component manufacturing, aircraft assembly, and service capabilities throughout the national value chain. The first made in India C-295 aircraft is anticipated to roll off the assembly line in September 2026, marking a significant milestone for India's aerospace sector. Production is set to ramp up to meet the delivery schedule of 40 aircraft to the Indian Air Force by August 2031 as outlined in the contract. With 56 aircraft on order, India has become the largest customer for the C-295. Additionally, discussions are underway to expand exports to the Indo-Pacific region, positioning Tata as a potential key provider of military aircraft production and maintenance services. The Tata Airbus collaboration extends beyond aircraft production, with Airbus identifying India as a strategic hub for expanding its industrial footprint. This includes aircraft assembly, component manufacturing, engineering design, maintenance support, pilot and technician training, and academic partnerships aimed at developing human capital. Airbus invests over $1 billion annually in India's supply chain, generating more than 15,000 jobs. The Airbus engineering and digital centers in Bengaluru also play a significant role in the company's global commercial and helicopter programs. With the inauguration of the Vadodara production line, India continues its pursuit of modernizing its defense and aerospace capabilities while boosting local industry. This initiative reflects the country's ambition to become a regional leader in the defense sector, capable of producing advanced military equipment and fostering international collaborations to drive economic and technological growth. As India strides forward in enhancing its aerospace capabilities, 
the partnership with Airbus signifies a new era of self-reliance and industrial advancement in the country.